Okay guys, so let's connect the Model 15 app to the MPC. We're gonna control the app via a MIDI track in the software. Okay, so this is for the touch. Obviously, you can work on the touch with this. I'm gonna show it here in the software, but basically, uh, you're gonna be controlling the uh, the app via via the touch. Now, I'm not sure about the live. I don't own the live, but you know, I know it has Bluetooth capability, so there should be a way of doing this as well but I'm not sure, okay? So this is regarding the software and the control that you use. It can be the Renaissance, it can be the studio. You can control uh, an app via uh, Bluetooth, okay? So let's see how we can do this. Obviously the Bluetooth is already on. I've connected the outputs of the iPad to the, uh, to the sampler, so the monitor is on. Okay, we can see the, uh, the volume coming in. Right now we need to connect the uh, the MIDI tracks, right? So go in here to the MIDI, right? And we have the Bluetooth here. Also go here to the settings on the app. Let me take this away. And we have the Bluetooth MIDI right there, okay? So it says it's offline. If you touch it, it won't do anything. If you double tap here on the Bluetooth, It'll pop up this window are you gonna advertise now you have this highlighted you can tap on it to connect it and now it's connected right so now the the, the two machines are connected via MIDI right so we can close this we don't need this so let's just quit this and it's done here as well we can just pop out of the settings again now we still have no connection. We're gonna we're gonna open up a MIDI track. So I'm gonna go here for the. I hope you guys can see this. I'm going for a MIDI track. Okay. Here we go MIDI. Now let's go into the settings as well. So MIDI, and you're gonna have your Bluetooth connection. These are the out. It, these are the inputs, right? And these are the outputs. So you should have. An output you don't need the input right just the output because you're going to send MIDI messages to the iPad so press on the OK and straight away you'll you see that you have that in your port a okay so it's right there so this means that now if you uh, if you play it's going to send MIDI messages to the uh, via Bluetooth to the app that's receiving now we haven't done one thing as well you need to on the input you need to select that right so that's selected now you can play with it now i'm pressing on the key on the keyboard of the of the laptop but it's the same thing as pressing on the uh, on the pads of the touch so it's basically the same thing now you are connected and it, it's as easy as that. Make sure that you go to your preferences, go to your MIDI on the MIDI mapping on the output. You have your Bluetooth selected and you also have the input selected in the uh, in the app as well. Once you do that, just, you know, just make sure that you get the audio into the MPC so you can sample it if you want to sample it. But that's that's it. That's how you connect the two together and go and have fun guys okay take care thank you for watching